being fat and being fine at the same time is a very difficult position to be in. And it's difficult because people make it difficult. Like if you find me to be a beautiful woman, then just say that. Like you don't have to be torn between, oh, she's pretty, but she's also this. I know that. Why are people nowadays so conceited, so narcissistic, so main character syndrome, so pick me. Why do you even bother making a video talking about how pretty you are and then also proclaim that you're fat as if like, oh, these two things can't coexist at once, but somehow I managed to do it, period, slay queen edges. That's, it's, such, it's, just, it's such a far out, like, a thing for me to think about. The fact that we have so many people nowadays, so a woman is sitting here with as many filters as she does on her face. Literally can't even see a single pore on this woman's face. And I see the double, triple chin literally poking through, talking about some, I know I'm pretty, I know I'm fine, I know I'm this. Who are you? Why do you people want to make yourself so incredibly cringe? It's ridiculous. For the amount of people we have on social media today that have absolutely no regard for, for anything other than cringe. It's crazy, bro. It's absolutely insane. But I'm willing to listen to this woman I'm willing to listen to her pick me ass and tell us about how pretty she is and also the fact that she's fat. Good good job, by the way. Super pretty, super amazing. Um, you know, definitely did that face beat as hell. Definitely not yours, though. Crazy as fuck. Filter on 20. Whatever. Go ahead. Go ahead and tell us about how pick me you are. Go ahead and tell us about how big you are and also the fact that you're fine. Go ahead. As if anybody gives a fuck, bro. Who the fuck is sitting there going like, oh, man, she fat. Who, she's so fat. And you going, yeah, but make sure you also include the fact that I'm fine in there, too. Fat and fine, FF, get the fuck out of here. Bro. Between, oh, she's pretty, but she's also this. I know that. It's called being a multi dimensional being. It's, it's called being overweight and fat simultaneously. Like, what are you, what are you talking about? A multi dimensional being because I'm fat and I'm pretty simultaneously? I guess. I mean, sure. I understand what you're saying, but like, what do you, what, what is even the point of this video? Like, I hope this really goes somewhere other than I'm fat and I'm also fantastically beautiful simultaneously. Like, Go ahead, bro. I, I just don't hate. I, I just really hate when people are super pick me about it, dude. Um, at least she's open about it, like, tremendously. I hate when people are very passive about it. When they say, like, oh, my God. Somebody said that I was ugly today. Just waiting for you to respond or whatever. Do I look ugly? Do I look ugly? And then waiting for somebody to say that you're not ugly. That's way worse, in my opinion. Way worse to subtly imply that you're really, really attractive. But it's also very, very cringe for somebody to just come on the social media app and then just proclaim that they're pretty. It's just gross, man. Get, 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 get away from me. It's called duality. That's what it's called. Duality, huh? Fat and fine. FF. I know I'm not a size two. I know <laughs> I never lost the pandemic weight. I know yeah. that. I know. Oh, you gained pandemic weight, huh? That I'm fat. But I also know I'm fine. Well, let's be honest for a second. Do you even have ears? I don't know what's going on here. Like, you're, so you know you're fine. So what does that, what does that mean? Does that take away from the fact that you're fat? Like, if somebody was telling you, right? Usually you have this other conversation goes, hey, bro, do you think this girl looks good? Ah, uh, I mean, she looks good, but she does have a few extra pounds. She's a little bit overweight. I'm not sure necessarily I was, I mean, she looks good for the weight. Usually you have to preference that. Usually you have to say you're fat for the weight because the weight is most definitely negatively affecting. Now, you could say that you're pretty for a fat girl. You could say that you're fine for a big woman. Sure, I'm sure many people would not disagree with you on that, but you can't deny that when you're fatter, that that is going to put a passive, a negative passive effect on you. That is most definitely, people are gonna look at that and go, it's not as beneficial as it would have been if you were just not fat. So I understand what you're saying, but so what? Like, what, what, what do we even, why, why are we even going for this? Why are we even going down this line? Um, what is the value you're getting by proclaiming that even though you're fat, you're also tremendously attractive? Like, I, who you, who is this video for? The pandemic weight, I know that. I know that I'm fat, but I also know I'm fine. I also know the face card doesn't decline. Mm. The face card has about, let me stop. How many filters you got running on this face card, bro? Let's be honest for a second, dude. What are we even talking about right now, dude? Like, wh who's this video for? Who are you really showing this video to? To be like, yeah, I know that you, you was talking hella shit about me being busted and being musty as fuck. But guess what? Face card not declined. But what about the body? What about the body? The body not? The body declined? Hmm? What about the extra weight? Nah? Like, it's like, listen, bro. I don't care one way or another on whether or not you think you're attractive or whatever the fuck. It's just so incredibly pick me to come on the internet and lay down on your bed or whatever the fucking mat this is right here uh, with the triple chins on the on the neck 
and talking about how you're so goddamn pretty with 15 filters running on your face, smoothing it down like you're, you know, like you're Jif peanut butter, and, and talk about how pretty you are while being fat. Like it's just, it's like it's so incredibly pick me. It's so incredibly like you're just asking for people to make fun of you. You're just asking for people to disagree and say really, really disgusting mean shit. Like you are quite literally asking for that because what else could you possibly be doing? You're just, you're just asking for attention at this point. Come on. I also know that you want me. Who you? Who is this video for? Who is this video for, bro? Please, good lord, tell me. Is this like your ex boyfriend? Is this is this video for you, like your ex boyfriend or something like that? Like, did he, did he break up with you because you said that you were too big and it's not a compatible lifestyle? And also, how many you're making this video for him? Like, who is this for? I also know the face card doesn't decline. I also know that you want me, and it's not even about you wanting me, love. I am so content in who I am. And I obviously not. You have to make a whole entire video telling people how beautiful you are. You obviously, anybody that's secure in their, their bodily autonomy and like looking good and all this other stuff is not going to make a video about how pretty they are and how beautiful they are and how their face card don't decline and whatever the fuck. Like, and you, the fact that I want you apparently, like, what do you, like, you obviously are super insecure about it. You're literally projecting it. And it's not even about you wanting me, love. I am so content in who I am. And I love who I am so much. I'm not concerned about what you want to see from me. My body is not yours. You don't get to push whatever narrative you have over women's bodies or black women's bodies or whatever. You don't get to push that on me. What are you talking about, man? What does that even mean? You So like people can't post stuff on the internet that they that you disagree with? What? What are we even talking about? What does that have to do with being a black woman? What What, what is even the nature of this video? What are you saying right now? So like... Somebody thought that you were unattractive and the you somehow thought that that was negative in some way. So in order to make that and so in order to, I don't know, like remedy that somehow you made a video doing exactly the same thing that they did, but just reverse by telling people that you're really, really pretty. And then probably and then playing identity politics by claiming that you're a fat, black, overweight woman. I guess. I mean, I don't understand the, the idea of this video, but go ahead and go. I mean, that's fine, I guess over women's bodies or black women's bodies or whatever you don't get to push that on me i'm not going to take it from anybody well you're obviously taking it and you're taking it very very like wrong because you've made this entire video how many filters do you got man like where you have zero pores on your face at all so if you feel like i'm pretty or <laughs> fine that's cool if you don't that's also okay but you do not get to come into my space and tell me how to exist don't leave your comments on, I guess. Uh, don't don't upload public videos and, you know, uh, uh, talk really, really cringy and expect nobody to say anything. Like, what are you, what are you, what are you, what are you, what are you even saying right now? Like, what, what, what is even the, the context of this video, bro? You really made a video. I'm guessing somebody said something negative about you in your comment section or made a video about you saying that you was musty. And then somehow you took great offense to that. And instead of... Uh, I don't know ignoring it because that is what the internet is fundamentally uh, is just people making fun of you instead of that instead of that you made a, a deeply insecure video projecting all of your insecurities upon everybody else by telling people that you you're beautiful amazing gorgeous all this other stuff and also throwing in identity politics saying that we shouldn't be talking about women's bodies and black women's bodies to top it off which I don't even understand the relevance of that for some reason you think that means that, that you're just like exempt from any physical anytime anybody says anything physical about you at all because you are black fat and woman simultaneously all of those things culminate means that nobody can say anything about you in general do you see how stupid you sound like that's so dumb what are you even talking about you are like the definition of cringe there's like I can't even believe you made this video with the sheer amount of cringe this video is emanating. But go off, queen. Go ahead. Do not get to come into my sp I do whatever I want, first of all, dude. I mean, that, just don't turn off your comments then, I guess. Face and tell me how to exist. Nobody's talking about how you can exist. I, I'm sick of people just saying, like, exist as if you're not doing something crazy. Like, you're uploading videos on the internet, and you're uploading really cringy videos on the internet that people are going to watch and see that they're really, really cringe. Now, I get it. You probably don't think that they're cringe, but... And I know that... You might think that they're not cringe. This entire video is the definition of cringe. You are literally a pick me. You are quite literally a ginormous pick me, wanting everybody to compliment you. And for some reason, those compliments are, are not enough. So somehow you got to like upload a video about how pretty you are here. 
Like, he's like, whatever, bro. Come on, man. Get, or get. make it seem like I'm less pretty because I'm also something else. Well, that's a fact. I mean, if you're fat, you are going to be less pretty organically. It is what it is. Listen, dude, if you gain an extra, I don't know how much she weighs. I don't know, man. Hashtag face card not decline, right? But though, I don't know what she looks like for the rest of the body, but I do see that there's a couple extra chins there. I don't know. But uh, given that fact, you do realize that having extra weight in your body is, in general, not going to be attractive for most people. And I do say that by, in general, the majority of people are not going to find some that's fatter to be more attractive and this goes for almost anybody in the world uh, most men most women do not want to be with somebody that's fat not because necessarily because they're unattractive but what leads to the downward effects of being obese or fat which is medical uh, medical risks and also the fact that you guys are literally um carrying an extra however how much body fat percentage on your body for no other reason than just to have it it's just a detriment so uh and it's also unattractive for the majority of people like most people don't want to be with somebody that has extra weight on them so there's that um, if you think that you, you're hot and dangerous and all this other stuff, um, the weight is most definitely going to make you less attractive. That is a factual statement. I don't know why you would make this video proclaiming that you're not less attractive because of that. It just shows that you know that you're less attractive because of that because you have to show this video and proclaim that you don't care. Well, obviously you do care because you made this video. You know, it's just people are weird. And I. When you said people are weird. Did you look in the mirror when you said that? Like when you look, when you said people are weird, were you looking at the selfie, the selfie of yourself when you were saying that? Because obviously, yes, true. You are weird, very weird for making this video. I mean, what, what other scenario in life is somebody going to make a video about how beautiful they are? Like you're, you're what, what is this narcissistic ass shit? Because I'm also some. Like I, I knew, I knew a dude that used to tell me that he would beat off to himself in a mirror. Like he would watch himself and then he would beat off. First of all, gay. But. Uh, that's very narcissistic crazy as hell that somebody would even do something like that I mean, I mean a lot of people that are just completely obsessed with themselves to such a degree that they they just like Every waking moment is defined by what they can do to make themselves even prettier or getting other people's attentions or acknowledgments that they are gorgeous, amazing, fantastic, whatever the fuck. And it's it's gross. It's absolutely, in, it's outrageously gross. Now, sure, I'm sure there are plenty of people out there that like this woman, whatever. But, like, why would you like this woman if she's just projecting her insecurities out here like this? Something else. You know, it's just... People are weird, and I still don't get it. And it's just like, grow up. It's 2024. No, you want me to grow up when it's all entire. Like you're literally acting like you're 14 years old. One cares about being fat anymore. We care about. I don't think that that's true at all. Like nobody cares that we're fat anymore. What is this monster projection right now, bro? Just because you don't care and you don't want to do anything about your weight doesn't mean that people don't care about their weight. That's crazy. I still don't get it. And it's just like, grow up. It's 2024. No one cares about being fat anymore. We care about being broke. Clock it. Yeah, but like that weight, the extra weight on your body is most definitely going to uh, impede your ability to eat, right? Like, let's be honest for a second. You spend a lot of money on eating, Claire, now. We're on a weight loss journey. More power to you. Whatever you need to do for yourself, I support. That being said, I can't pretend like it's not like frustrating to see all of like these people that I was in community with going from like anti-diet culture you know, you're worth more than the scale, you're more important than your body, and like shifting like hard right into only weight loss content. Like I'm like I'm not saying you can't talk about your weight loss, I'm not saying you can't lose weight, I'm not saying any of that. It's just like really I don't know, sad. It's sad for you that other people are growing in more than just the weight section. Uh, I understand that you had friends with people and because they're losing weight now you feel like you can't be friends with them or you feel like there's not like because that's going to hurt your feelings because naturally these people at one point represented this but then they I guess got smarter or they learned something that you didn't learn or maybe something that you were forbidden to learn that maybe you did learn but you didn't want to learn it and they decided that weight loss was a good reason to uh, a good, weight loss was something that they could do to improve their life and now you feel like that's terrible because you don't it's just like you lost these people as your friends. Listen, I understand. I do get it. I, I perfectly understand it. But uh, what are you fucking stupid? Like, what do you want these people to do? Like, not 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 lose weight if they want to help themselves? Like, I it, it, just because you feel bad. So many people nowadays make these videos, and it's almost as if they don't realize that when they make these videos, it's like showing so much of their insecurity, showing so much of what they actually – like, saying the quiet part out loud, right? Like, this is the equivalent of – you ever see that meme where it's like the guy wearing the mask, but behind the mask is like a cringe, like crying face? 
this person is just showing off the crying face and then just being upset that people are losing weight and that she lost friends and it just really sucks because she doesn't believe in weight loss and these other people are weight losing weight. It's really fucking, it's really telling, bro. These people are actually like terrible, disgusting human beings. You know that? It's just like really, I don't know, sad. Um, sad, I think, for me. Yeah. Like, I would say- oh, Who cares about you though? Like, why the fuck does it matter? Like, you're, you know, like, go lose some fucking weight too and then get with the rest of us. I don't know. Like, over half of, like, my mutuals and, like, people on here. Can you not be friends with them that anymore because they lost weight? Is that what you're telling me? Like, they chose to lose weight, therefore we cannot be friends? Here are, like, talking about their weight loss, which, again, like, I, like, I get it. I, I understand what you're feeling. Like, feeling better, healthier, you know, have a better quality of life, don't have to worry about the inconsistencies of being fat anymore. Like, it's just nothing but benefits, and, like, you're just seeing that and you're going, I don't want to do that. I know they're having fun, but not me. Especially with like the new drugs and you, you know, I, I, I get it. I'm not saying I don't. It's just like it is It's sad it like to me personally, and I know I'm not like my opinion doesn't matter um, It matters. It's fine. But like this is an opinion about yourself like you're just you know, you're just saying you're sad like there's nothing here My issue is with like the weight loss because I don't want to break mutuals because like I care about them <laughs> Oh, the fact that you're even considering breaking mutuals because they're losing weight is crazy make no mistake about it These people have locked themselves into the weighted genre like if they if they lose weight now um, they, they just basically like shit on like the last three or four years of work that they put out They basically just said everything that they did before this was completely irrelevant and It's like would you feel good knowing that the last four years of your life which have been literally detrimental for your health and I guess like your career are just useless like obviously not so they have to like somehow manage to convince themselves that it's okay to be fat i don't know what they do exactly to, to, to do that but uh yeah that's why they're considering losing friends because it's like their ideology is literally on the brink here i care about you guys i don't want to like break the mutual like i also like i don't want to see it like i don't not again i'm not saying there's an issue i just like it's just like really alienating i guess yeah it's bad for her mental health because she's seeing that they're losing weight and feeling better and she's still feeling like shit. and she knows that losing weight will be the right move but she has convinced herself and she has put herself in a category of never losing weight because that's her belief system and because of that uh it's hard it's it's probably really difficult for her to like understand like what can i do here literally nothing i'm stuck so it sucks <laughs> but she did it to herself like she's li quite literally telling you she's done it to herself I don't know. Like, I really support you all, and I hope that whatever happens, you guys are happy and content in your body. Like, I completely support you. I just, like, seeing all, so, like, the, the influx in weight loss content that I'm watching, it's, like, it's not good. Like, I mean, as someone in eating disorder recovery, it's just hard. Um, so, I don't know. Yeah, like, good luck, but I'm, if I'm not engaging with that kind of content, it's that's why... I still love you all. What a depressing person, man. Somebody that can't, like, somebody else is enjoying their life and losing weight, and they're saying, like, I can't look at that because it hurts my feelings. I saw, like, you know, like, I don't know, I just... So much weight loss content, like, I can't escape it. Sad. <sighs> I don't know, it's just a little sad. I really do hate this trend. Why did... Why do your tattoos... Why do your tattoos look like the wallpaper at, like, a Hot Topic? Like, was there any rhyme or reason to any of these, or, like, would it, would it a five-year-old draw these? I'm gonna talk about it after I ask this question. Face tattoos are really risky, by the way. Super risky. Question, okay? Okay. When you look at my body, do you find me attractive? No. Not me, my body. Do you yeah, find no. this body type attractive? No. Okay, no, no, no. Do you crave this? No. If you saw this body type on social media being like oh my god this is the new trend would you want this no on your own body uh nah bro not even close either like not even not even remotely uh i'm not gay or i don't know whatever you are i'm not that uh that's obvious and then also you gut it up i'm not really for that i i'm good now i'm i'm all right bro and i wouldn't consider you to be attractive but i'm sure somebody would yes or no no because if you answered no, that's the exact reason why you shouldn't be on this trend. Okay, well I'm not trying to be on this trend. What trend is that? Watching fat people walk with sports bras and random miscolored shorts with tons and tons of hot topic tattoos on themselves? Like, 
Okay. Because fat people aren't seeing a sexy design. No fucking shit. Being fat is literally a detriment to your health. People with cancer are also not seen as sexy either, bro. What are you talking? Yes. Who would have fucking known, dude? Yes. Obvious fucking Lee. Horrible. The number one trend. We're seen as ugly, less than not healthy. Yeah. Which is, you know, all true, by the way. I have asthma. I've always. <laughs> okay. Probably not good the fact that you're carrying around like double or triple the amount of weight that you should be, right? With those asthmas. Ugly, less than. No. Sorry, I had to laugh because it was just like, just randomly bringing it up. It was just like hilarious. Healthy. <laughs> I have asthma. I've always had asthma. I've always been a fat kid growing up. I've always been fat growing up. Great. No one has desired my body. <laughs> you sad motherfucker, bro. Why are you talking about this, dude? This is like, these people are so depressing to listen to sometimes, man. Like, these people, this is like, this is the stuff that you should have wrote down in your notebook, dog. This is something that you should have, like, locked away key and had nobody ever smell it up. The fact that you're just bragging about the fact that nobody ever found you desirable on the internet is so sad, bro. Like, where have we reached in society where people are just uploading videos like this casually? No one. No one. My body to other skinny people were only desired when I identified as a female. Okay. Now sad that. My body for Well, yeah, okay, when you identified as female, I, I, I guess, like, usually women are in generally, women in general are gonna be obsessed over sexually, just generally speaking, regardless of what you looked at because you have a vagina, because guys, but, like, what does that even prove, though? Like, it's not its not that you were fat, that you were desirable. It was because you had the woman. You know what I'm saying? Like, because you were a woman. That was the reason why. So it, that's even not even a point for your... That's not even a point for you being fat there. For being a trans dude and being fat isn't seen as attractive. Yeah, no shit, bro. <laughs> yeah, obvious fucking Lee, bro. Yeah, of course, bro. That shit's all, like, really, really far-reaching things, man. By any Those are extremes on like our every end now say whatever you want about trans people I don't care personally like if you want to be trans whatever um, if you want to be fat That's fine, but like you're complaining about the fact that you're not getting any reception from those things bro being fat in general That's gonna be very difficult for you to like navigate the dating market in general. That's gonna be hard Okay now stack on the fact that you're trans dude What do you like wh what percentage of people do you think are gonna be down for that and that and it's fine Like I'm okay with you being trans, but you can't expect people to just be okay with everything across the board Those are two very extreme things one other than other fat trans men yeah and other fat people yeah i'm not seeing it's attractive okay and if you were to look at a skinny person who is a hairy trans masculine they'd be like oh my god yes king slay attractive yes what are you oh talking my god. about i'm not okay. i'm not though what is, is this, this like what is this pick me actually this video is like literally all pick me's like people just coming out and talking like you want sympathy you want sympathy bro you want you want to want people to feel bad for you you want people to have, is it, hit your, sit in your comment section and say no you're worthy no bro lose some fucking weight the skinny people have and also bro you got tons of tattoos like most people are not going to be attracted to that either it's fine that you have like body tattoos i'm sure most people don't care about that but the face tattoos crazy it doesn't even look like there's a rhyme or reason to it some of these tattoos look like I don't know, like they, like somebody melted crayon in your face or something. Privilege, and some of them actually look like you have like a disease. The way where your body is seen as desirable. What are you talking You're not about? Shamed upon because just because. Of is somebody taking a shower in the background? Is is somebody like peeing in the toilet? Why is it so watery in the background, dude? Like what? My weight. People see me as unhealthy when. You are unhealthy. If you're over, yeah, you're overweight, so you're unhealthy, yeah. Everything inside my body is completely healthy. Well, no, that's not the truth. Come on now. We can take a moment here, okay? Being overweight, not healthy at all. That's not a good thing. It's not a good aspect of health. I, I, who told you that? I don't know. People see me as unhealthy when everything inside my body is completely healthy. Yeah, so the, given the fact that you were able to say that so confidently, it tells me everything I need to know. There's a reason why people aren't pursuing you. And it could be the fact that you are unhealthy. It could be the fact that you're probably mentally unhealthy as well. Given the fact that somehow you've managed to convince yourself that being overweight is not healthy as well. Also, the fact that you have face tattoos, which is fine, by the way, if you want to have face tattoos, but you can't expect other people to be fine with it. That's not going to be a capable thing for most people. Um, also, the fact that you are, instead of like ex instead of internalizing any of the problems that you're dealing with due to the fact that you're obese and trans, um, and, and, and saying, like, what can I do to improve my opportunity to find people to be with? Uh, instead of, like, internalizing that, somehow you managed to externalize all of your problems. And it seems like you're literally looking for sympathy points by posting this video, by telling everybody, boo-hoo, people don't like me. People think I'm ugly. People don't think I'm attractive. 
yeah, bro. Yes, that's that's true, man. Okay, like I don't feel bad for you, bro. Why why are you posting this cringy ass shit on TikTok, bro? I don't eat the best, but my organs aren't shit. Cool, bro. That's awesome. That's awesome, brother. Is that like the is that the only? That's the that's how you know you're you're healthy. Your organs aren't shit. But even when there's a deathly sick, skinny individual, no one looks them looks at them and think, you know, they're not healthy. Bro, can you take down this video, bro? This is this is some major fucking cringe. Like, this is actually, like, some top-tier cringe right now, bro. Why are you so concerned about what other people are thinking about other people and the fact that you can't, you can't do that yourself? You're none of those people, okay? Now, if somebody's thinner and they're sickly, most people don't know that they're sickly unless you can see it, okay? Unless you can see their yellow skin or something's happening or their arms hanging off because you know why? It's more ambiguous, right? But if you're fatter, we know because it's immediate. We can literally see it on your body. We know that you're unhealthy. So... Given that, these are two different categories. Somebody that is an elaborate illusion. They could be sickly and thin, but you wouldn't know. Whereas for you, I know that you're unhealthy. There's a difference, dude. This person, I don't know. This person, I do know. So I'm more likely to look upon you and go, yeah, you're unhealthy. I don't know about this person, though. Yes, yes. You're not in the same category. Stop trying to compare yourself to different people in different categories and thinking that somehow you're the same. You're not the same. You're different, and you have different, you have different problems, bro. You know, they, they, you know, no. they should eat more. They need to be fat. No one thinks that. Bro, so? So? What is the, what? What is the point? What is the point here, bro? If they have... If somebody has, like, jaundice, and then, like, do you think that the solution would be for them to eat more food? Like, if somebody has their arm hanging off, do you think the solution for them would be to eat more food? In the same way that for you to be obese, the solution for you to be would be to, like, reduce calories? You do, like, why are you comparing apples to, like, tow trucks? Like, it's just... I understand where you're going with this, but the comparison is so, uh, is so not close... And I know why you're doing it, because you're trying to make it seem like they're the same. They're not the same, not even close to being the same, because we don't know what that person's problem is. So naturally, eating more food might not even be what the issue the issue is. So I'm like, whatever. No one, no one, very little. No one, no one, no one. Some do, some do, but very little people think that. Cool. So that's why this trend isn't made for skinny people or mid-sized people. Fetch. Ooh. And bigger. Dude, what? Ha are these tattoos or like did you just draw these on? Bigger people too. My size and bigger. Not skinny people who can wear a. Stop being a pig. Large man. and it still fit pretty loosely on them. You all? Main character syndrome's like running rampant in today's world. Everybody wants to be the main character. Everybody wants to be acknowledged. Everybody wants sympathy. Everybody wants to be a victim. And it's just like, it's too many people. There's too many cringy people in this world, bro. Like, we gotta all calm down. Move down to cringe by like a good 30%. And we might be able to move, we might be able to do some more stuff. But at this rate, dude, too much cringe. I'll keep commenting the same thing. Oh, it's not how supply and demand works at all. If there's a demand, the supply will eventually increase. You cannot tell me thousands of those years of basic economics is wrong. Again, a big picture. Yeah, that's true. Uh, we live in a capitalistic society. If things are selling, things will sell, and they'll continue to sell um, until they don't. But until that point happens, there will be demand for it. If more people buy it, it'll create more demand, and yep. they'll just make more. They'll true. make more. It'll be fine. It'll be good. That's true. Y'all have never been fat people and have never tried to buy plus size clothing. So, so you're telling me that like basic economics is triumphed by the fact that you're fat. I, I had not known that you guys defied the laws of like capitalism. That's crazy. Like, wow, you guys are like so incredibly special that like capitalism doesn't even work for you guys. Wow. You're so, you're so unique. You're, you guys are so special. Like, and also... If somebody asks you a legitimate question like this, right, and they go, what do you have to say about this? And you go, because I'm fat? That's not, that's not a solution. You know that? Like, that's not an answer. That's just you circling back to what you said initially. It doesn't answer the question. And it obviously, coming from somebody that always complains that, you know, for me, I don't have any, like, uh, researched evidence in my shit. You literally just hit this with, because I'm fat, bro, which is crazy. Good. Y'all have never been fat people and have never tried to buy plus-size clothing. So you don't understand that anti-fatness 
trumps it all. That's, this person is lost. This person is done, finished, over. It's, there's nothing you can say to this person. This person has literally externalized all of their problems to such a degree that they can't even look inward and see that maybe they're wrong about something. Uh, crazy, absolutely crazy, bro. It's always fat, it's always anti-fatness, of course. It trumps supply and demand. How? You do not get it. How? Can you tell us how? Like, you can't say you don't get it and then be like, you just don't get it and just leave it there. Why? Why don't I get it? Can you explain? You seem to know more than me on this particular matter. Uh, I had I had not realized that that supply and demand was completely, like, negated the, 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 due to the fact that you're fat. So, like, can you tell us how? Is there any way that you can articulate that? Is there anything, like, an example that you can use? No? Is there nothing you can say? It trumps your thought experiment. It what do you mean thought experiment? You think that, you think supply and demand is a thought experiment? Trumps your econ 101. Okay. It trumps everything. But why though? Why? Everything. Why? And you won't listen to the fat people in the comments telling you we have seen this happen with plus size brands. I don't care about your anecdotal evidence, dude. Like if you're sitting here and you're proclaiming that you guys are exempt from the fact that supply and demand exists, and then you're sitting here going, listen to fat people. Why would I listen to fat? Unless the fat person is like the guy at the front of like the supply and demand chart. I don't give a fuck what fat people have to say. That's completely irrelevant to me. What? What are you talking about, bro? What am I supposed to listen to like Japanese people when there's a GPU shortage? Like Taiwanese dudes because the, the chip shortage? Like what are you fucking talking about, dude? Just because, just because you guys are fat and you guys are dealing with a problem doesn't mean you guys have any more insight than another person working in the, in the actual field. Like what are you talking about? Sounds companies that carry plus size products over and over and over and over and over again for years but why case in point american eagle american eagle used to carry jeans up to a size 24. and then they stopped selling them because fat people weren't going into the store and buying them they were sold out constantly yeah okay uh that was probably because they were when your electricity when your electricity gets into your house right in order for the electricity to be properly facilitated to your house, because it goes up and it goes down depending on the season. Usually in summertime, there's more electricity because people are running more electronics because, you know, air conditioning and stuff like that. But as the season change, people use less electricity and so on and so on. They don't overboard the electricity because that could cause like an outage in itself. Like it's too much or it's too little. Usually they have a good median ground. And the reason and the way they know um, how to supply that is through years and years and years of um, evidence and, and examples and things such and so forth and it's most likely the same thing here like the reason why things sell out is because they probably have an adequate amount of supply for the amount of people that come in and now sure you might be one of those people that came in and you weren't being able to get that stuff but that doesn't mean anything it just probably it just means that you just not lucky enough to show up on time to get the stuff do you know what they did all their sizes would sell out up to up to a size 24 do you oh, know sorry. what they did took away sizes up to a size 24. You also gotta look at the fact that like, plus size clothing is gonna take up more space. You have to look up that, um, even though there's a certain, like let's say for instance, there's the store and there's, uh, all the shelves are filled, okay? Let's say we have 20, 20 pairs of pants that are plus size and they sold out, right? They sell out every month. Uh, does that mean that you're gonna add more to that store or does it just mean that, you know, like, hey, they're selling, but like this other stuff is selling way, way, way more. Maybe we take these off the shelves because like, yes, they're selling, but not really to the same degree that these other clothes are selling though because where these are selling out like crazy. Like we have to consistently always restock these shelves over and over and over again. It just might be more beneficial in the long term for these companies to um, do those other things. Like, you know what I'm talking about? Or, you know, it is, it is what it is. Like you guys don't have, uh, a lot of fat people in general don't like going outside to buy clothes and stuff. Um, a lot of fat people will buy clothes online. I buy all my clothes online because I don't really like going into stores and stuff like that. And I feel like that's just where the, the community is moving to. They didn't keep restocking them and go, oh, more demand. Let's, let's keep producing them. They stopped selling them. Now they only go up to a size like 18 or 20. Same thing happened with Old Navy. Old yeah, but Old Navy specifically said that it wasn't selling enough. Like they literally, they literally put out a thing where like, hey, listen, uh, it just wasn't selling enough. Like, you know, there weren't enough people in their store that were buying it. So like, it, what even is that case? Navy had a big campaign. They started carrying up to a size 4X in stores. They carried all sizes. The Thins didn't like us shopping with them. I don't know if it was the Thins. <laughs> I don't know if it was the Thins. I'm pretty sure Old Navy literally said that 
the clothes weren't selling out to the degree that they wanted them to, and it wasn't suitable for them. So they pulled them all out, less than... It, no, that's not the reason. It wasn't because thin people bad. What are you talking about? Where... Do you have any type of evidence to prove that thin people just, like, that was the definitive reason because thin people said they don't like shopping with fat people? A year later, they were constantly sold out in store, constantly sold out online. That's not true. That's not true. They literally said they were like this. The, the amount of demand for these clothes weren't reaching, weren't, were not reaching the supply. So they just stopped selling them. But because thin people complained. It wasn't thin people though. It was, okay, whatever, bro. Go ahead. They pulled them out of store. Guess what? They're still sold out quite often online. A CEO of Reb Dolls, which by the way, go check out their Kickstarter campaign. Today is the last day to help save their company. She just talked to a bunch of different- So even a company that sells plus size clothing is not having enough sub- the, the, the plus size clothing company that is selling this plus size clothing needs donations in order to keep themselves afloat. Because what? Because the demand? Because the demand is not enough? Huh? Oh, who would have known? Who would have known the plus size company that's selling only plus size clothes is going out of store, is, 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 is closing down? Because they don't have enough demand. Who would have known? Who would have known? Investors for her brand, do you know what they told her? They think the brands that already exist out there for plus size clothing are sufficient because fatness is temporary. Do you think they're gonna keep restocking things if they think fatness is temporary? They also said, again, thin people don't wanna be shopping with fat people. Who said that? Who, who said that, bro? You, you, you really think a CEO of any major company would ever say to an individual, like, the reason why we're not, we're not going to invest in your company is because then people don't like shopping with fat people? Do you know how crazy of a statement that is? Because once a brand... Do you know how unbelievable of a statement that is? That's insane. That's like an actual insane person statement. Starts expanding their sizes too much. It's not cool anymore. Like, the reasons I'm giving... By the way... Everything she's saying right now is all anecdotal um, from the other person. The other person said that the other person said that, like the CEOs of those companies. They were saying, this is all like hearsay. Like this is not documented anywhere. There's no evidence of this. Just like somebody said this about somebody. There's no like evidence of that. Giving you are legitimate reasons that she was given by investors. People yeah, but those investors, like we don't know if that was real. And he, you, with all due respect, with no respect, you could just say whatever the fuck you want. It's not like these companies, like, so there, so it's a phantom company that was supposed to my bet. So it was an, a phantom investing company that was going to invest in this Reb doll or whatever the fuck this shit's called. And that investing companies or companies uh, told that individual that they're not going to invest in that company because it's not profitable. And then also they don't like thin people, thin people don't like shopping with fat people. So that's all anecdotal. And also the fact that the investors are also anecdotal and they may or may not exist. We don't know anything. Like none of this stuff is documented. It's very easy for somebody to say, somebody said this about this and this and this and this and this all happened. And then you're just going to believe it face value. Because it's your friend? Because it's like plus size clothing? Because it like suits your need? I understand. But like, dude, come on. Have better, have better protocols for like understanding these facts. People who have been working in the industry for years, they are giving us the reasons why they don't restock stuff. But this, okay, I'm just sick of this shit, dude. It's all anecdotal. None of this stuff is actually set in stone. I don't know if any of this happened. It could all just be a facade. They don't care. There's so many billions of dollars to be- Why are we screaming right now? Can we like lower the voice? Inside voices. Be made from plus size clothing and they don't want to do it because it's uncool, because it's not what thin people want and they're catering to their customer that they already have because it's- too hard they don't want to invest that money in making new patterns and like doing the market research and having to like oh they don't want to spend more money is that what you're telling me they don't want to spend more money on a demographic of people that don't even shop in the stores to begin with who would have known who would have known invest in converting a new customer like they just don't want to i'm not uh, like it's so frustrating when you you guys who like have no idea the like intricacies of how anti-fat bias is built into the system so hardcore just look at me and go no it'll be it'll be fine they'll just make more they don't make more it is intentional what about the food did they make more of that oh all right, anyway, guys, this person is unhinged. Mighty Murphy and Fash is literally one of the most unhinged fat acceptance activists. But regardless, uh, you're not unhinged in any way. Your entire existence is rehinged, omega hinged, super hinged, all the way hinged. But anyway, guys, um, you're beautiful, by the way. 
Thank you for watching today's video. I'd appreciate very big leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video, all those things I'd appreciate tremendously. Um, if you watch the video in its entirety and or you're here right now, leave it down below by typing in hoodie because I'm wearing one today. Beautiful, amazing hoodie. Okay, ready for it? Hold on. His palms are sweaty, knees weak, arms are heavy. There's vomit on his sweater already. Okay, let me stop. Anyway, you're beautiful. You're fantastic. You're am you're amazing in so many different ways. I love your eyebrows. I love your 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 kneecaps. They're super nice today. They look very very good. Your toenails have been very well groomed as well, which is something I need to do actually. I need to cut my toenails. I don't really cut my toenails very often, but uh, they've been bothering me, so I'm gonna cut those soon. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you want to check out my social medias, will be linked down below in the description. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Peace.